Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Success Engineering Official. So, as you can see, we have completed uh, the creating the space for uh, both the floors, ground floor as well as first floor. So today we are going to uh, start creating the system in the app. So one by one we have to create for the each system, and uh, we are going to see here so many systems. Which is uh, first we will uh, start uh, from ductable unit. So we will create the ducted split. Then we have to create for the package unit. Then we have to create for the AHUN chiller. So please be with me. Then uh, in the lastly we have to create for the same project the VRF system. So please be with me and keep watching my tutorial. So please start uh, now. So before I start uh, this video, I would like to request you guys if you are still not subscribe my channel, please do subscribing. And hit the bell icon as well so that whenever I upload the video, you will get the notification of my video. So let us start now. We will start from this uh, space technical manager. Okay, so let me open this uh, app software. Okay, and let us uh, open your project. Okay, and you can see here we have created here so many systems, so many spaces. So now we are going to create the system. So go to the system, okay, and then you have to double click here, new default system, then air system name. So for we are creating the system for this technical manager. So you have to write here tech MN technical manager ground floor. SPU 01 okay just rename this uh, for your identification okay then equipment type is here you can see here there are so many air system type is there package rooftop package vertical unit a split air handling unit then chill water air handling unit then next is terminal unit so ductable unit is comes under terminal unit so select this one Okay, so for uh, one space we are, we have uh, provide the one zone. That means the one space we are going to create one system. So means uh, one space is uh, here one zone. Okay. So what I am going to do here is one zone and ventilation is direct ventilation and dedicated outdoor air system. Okay. So here is the direct ventilation. There is no fresh air unit uh, we are providing. We are we are going to provide here direct ventilation. And second type is you can see this is uh, not uh, this is hidden. So because we have selected here terminal unit, so terminal unit this system is not applicable. These types. So directly go to the zone component. And in the zone component, you can see here there are. Uh, four uh, parameter there is first one is spaces second one is thermostat and then third one is common data and uh, fourth one is terminal units so it's uh, one by one we have to see all these uh, parameters so first we are going to um, going for the spaces so in the spaces you have to select the ground floor technical manager so in the in this spaces you can see here to so many spaces are here so i'm going to select ground floor technical manager okay ground floor technical manager okay and just add this in this zone okay so just click uh, select this technical manager ground floor and uh, click on add and this is added in single zone okay if you want to rename this you can rename technical manager June 1 technical manager ground floor technical manager okay so this is your one zone now you have to go to the thermostats so in the thermostat you should uh, not 
change anything here because uh, the cooling thermostat set point is 24 degree here for uh, comfort uh, for the human comfort so no need to change this one anything okay and then you just select here thermostat schedule okay then go to the common data so in the common data you need only cooling so just uncheck this heating okay yes i need only cooling because i am going to design for the cooling only so here your design supply temperature should be 12.5 degree or 12 degree centigrade and coil bypass vector is 0.12 okay and cooling source is air cooling air cooled uh, dx system and uh, ventilation sizing method is sum of uh, outdoor uh, sum of space outdoor air flow and then go to the terminal unit in the terminal unit you can see here the fan coil is selected and zone is one zone and total aesthetic is 50 pascal just uh, this for the heat uh, heat uh, generated by the motor of the fan coil unit so just uh, provide some values here okay and then go to the sizing data in the sizing data you can see here the system sizing zone sizing so just uh, just select here system go to the system sizing and you can see here there is safety factor okay this hydronic sizing as specification is not applicable for the terminal unit this will be applicable only for the chilled water system okay so do not uh, touch do not provide anything yet leave as it is and cooling sensible uh, safety factor is 10 percent okay and here is uh, latent also 10 percent keep okay and then zone sizing do not change anything here the zone sizing data zone air flow sizing method is sum of a space air flow rate okay and here is the space air flow sizing method is individual so just click ok ok and just save this ok so one uh, your one system is created here which is technical manager ground floor split uh, air conditioning unit so I want to see the input data what I entered here so just select this and uh, you can see here the view input report so what you provided here just uh, generate the report and just uh, review this so you can see here the technical manager ground floor split uh, unit input data so this is the input data only okay so you can see here the air system name is technical manager ground floor split uh, unit one then equipment type is terminal unit and air system in air system type is uh, package dx fan coil okay and the number of zone is one and ventilation is direct ventilation okay and the zone component so this is the zone zone one ground floor technical manager ground floor technical manager is the zone one okay and this is the thermostat zone data okay so cooling thermostat is 24 is the set point okay and next is your uh, common terminal unit data so this is your design supply temperature is 20 12.5 degree centigrade coil bypass factor what you whatever you entered here and cooling source is air cooled air cooled dx system this is this is not chilled water system and schedule is uh, up to december here january to december okay and fan control so fan on ventilation sizing method is sum of uh, space outdoor air airflow and this is your terminal unit data so fan coil type air distribution is ceiling supply return okay and then fan performance 50 pascal and here is your safety factor what you provided is 10 percent okay so that's all just close this this is your uh, input data if you want to see the output report you can go to this uh, this I can view design report so just click this and uh, whatever you want you can generate your report so first one is uh, you can see here the system sizing summary so I want system sizing summary table 
zone sizing i also want and then ventilation sizing summary i also want so just click this okay and then here is your report so system load summary i want zone load system load zone load okay and then i need psychometric as well so just preview this it will take a little bit time okay so this is your output report okay so the total floor area is here at 24.9 square meter okay and location is dubai okay so calculation method is january to december next is uh, this is your zone sizing okay so in this zone sizing you can see here the zone name terminal unit sizing data cooling okay so the total coil load is 7.7 .7 kilowatts so if you want to convert this in, uh, in tonnes so just uh, divided by 3.51 one ton is equal to 3.51 kilowatt okay so here the two ton unit is required so 2.2.1 ton is the coil load so you can select uh, 2.5 ton uh, ac here so zone name is uh, ground floor technical manager okay and then terminal unit sizing data heat fan ventilation okay terminal unit sizing data the zone name is ground floor technical manager and here is zone peak sensible load in the peak time the time of peak sensible cooling load is uh, september 15 is nothing but the september in the month of september uh, three o'clock the, there will be the peak time for this zone okay and uh, ground flow technical manager zone name and this is the space load air flow so a space name is uh, technical ground flow technical manager the space name this is the zone data and this is the space data okay next is a ventilation sizing summary so in the ventilation sizing method is sum of uh, space outdoor air flow so in this you can see here the space ventilation al analysis okay and a ground flow technical manager okay so in this you can see your zone or space name is ground flow technical manager and floor area is 24.9 square meter maximum occupant number of people is nothing but the six people and maximum supply air is 494.5 outdoor air should be 2.3 liters per second per person is required and outdoor air per square meter should be 0 0.30 okay so this is your uh, outdoor air required 21.7 uh, this is the supply here and uh, this 2.36 liter per uh, person is required so number of people is 6 so just multiply this okay and then 0 0.3 per square meter so total area is i will show you how it's coming 21.7 so first uh, number of people is six okay and per person liter outdoor air required is 2.36 so six into 2.36 okay so 14.16 14 14.16 plus uh, 24.9 24.9 into uh, 0 0.3 liter per second per square meter is required so just multiply this 0 0.3 okay just and uh, add the 14.16 so 14.16 should be added here so total outdoor here is required is 21.63 liters per second so here you can see this is the outdoor air required outdoor air next uh, is your uh, air system design load summary so this is your load summary the zone load 
here is uh, zone load design cooling data is here that means the window and escalate solar load transmission load wall transmission roof windows escalate whatever is uh, you have provided in your input so everything is showing here safety factor is also here 10 percent and this is your system data okay zone data then next is uh, your uh, system psychometric so for this uh, system the psychometric graph cannot be generated for this type of system because this is the split unit so psychometric chart uh, this is cannot be generated by the software for the split unit so i hope you guys uh, learn how to create the system for a split unit okay so we have to create for uh, all the system one by one okay so i hope you guys learn how to create the system so thank you for watching my video we will create uh, continue with the next tutorial so thank you for watching my video thank you bye bye